Good morning everybody and welcome back to Moving Vlogs episode 4. Move day! You are, you are, you are. It is currently 8.20, 8.20 in the morning on the 19th, Friday the 19th of February, which is my completion and moving day. I become a homeowner today. Life changes massively today. So I've just got up and put some makeup on and done my hair. I We are gonna be sweaty and all over the shop today. So. I just thought, you know what, it's an special occasion. I'm gonna start off with good intentions. We'll see if this actually lasts. I'm definitely gonna have to tie my hair up anyway, so it'll be in a ponytail for sure. But I'm gonna keep this bit of the vlog very brief because I'm conscious it's probably gonna be a long vlog because it's moving day. I'm gonna try and film as much as I can. Obviously, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be busy as well, so I'm really gonna try my best to film. We've got to dismantle the bed. We've got to take this furniture down, this here, and that's it. Just got to Andy's flat. My dad's already, well not just, my dad's already gone. I'm just doing some last minute cleaning for when the new owner moves in later today. Oh, it's absolutely incredible. Just got rid of all of the microwaves and toasters and stuff and now I'm just gonna give it a bleach. That sip was really good for that, but. To be honest, I would clean it all myself if I bought this place and moved in. That's alright, yeah, go ahead. Someone could have wanted that. I never did. You said no, I don't want that. Do you like? Yeah. Well, you're right, we should have let Mum know though, because she got my back. Reality still definitely isn't settling in yet, but it is weird to see this place empty. It's so strange. Okay, it's empty. Well, this is just to go in my car. That's going in the bin, not the box and stuff. And the flat is empty. Oh my goodness, I just finished giving it a good vacuum. I've left, left her a card. Everything's sparkling. Fridge is all clean. Cupboards all clean. Office, bare. Room, bare. And bathroom. All bare. We're leaving the little reed diffuser because all of that looks cute. I better just check in here. Okay, good. That's all empty too. All clean. Oh, I need to just wash that away. I wouldn't like that. And our coat's there. Right, I need to go load up my car with this stuff. Oh, this is the front room. And we've cleared the hallway because we're going to bring the IKEA sofa out now. Let's show the kitchen, Mum. Is that all the brackets for you? For the, that's for the wardrobes. Yeah, got our cheese flan, have you had some cheese flan? And then we got the van out here. Just, there's an alarm going off. I don't know if that's a little silent alarm of this because it's open. But this is the van situation. There's my hit step. My dad's just been oh, measuring up. But we're definitely gonna need to do two trips. That's for sure. Oh, the mattress is in the hallway. Oh, my mattress chopper. I have to straighten all that out because there's a mattress chopper in there and a duvet. So that's fine as long as it's like that. Oh, thank you. I needed a wee for about half an hour. I need to go have a wee. We got my little book of lists for moving day. So we've got all of this stuff that's supposed to be going in the car. Stuff, big stuff that we will forget. And that was all my yesterday and all my admin. Oh, we're good, we're ready. We also had a phone call in the car that Andy, from the estate agent, that Andy's flat has completed, so the lady buying it has completed, which means we have completed. It legally means that we have to have completed because you have to do it in parallel. But we've not had our phone call yet because I think 
the developers just take a while to process it all and our solicitors have to actually process it but basically we need to load up because we can we can have the keys now which is incredibly exciting <laughs> Okay, packed up, very packed up. Oh, have you seen the wheels? They're like squashed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really squashed. It's round and then I can leave you to it. Out here. I know, yeah, I'm trying to think what, what to do. <laughs> well, we got these We've got the carpet, those, yeah. Oh, right, okay. So, so we've, that's, well, it's carpet and hard floor, Dad said. Should yeah, we just pop our shoes off? One, so yeah. Yeah. Should we just do oh, that? Oh, Makes yeah. sense, doesn't it? Yeah, for now. Oh, gosh. Oh, <laughs> so oh, weird. Oh, it's weird to think we'll be sleeping here tonight. It's weird, to, you it's weird to think tonight. we own it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. I can't. Ooh. It's gonna feel like we're staying in like one of those Airbnbs for a while, isn't it? <laughs> so what we'll do? Welcome to my house. So we've just done the paperwork, and obviously, obviously, we got the keys. We've got left some really nice bits. So this is what was left for us. We've got a lovely little card. We've got a bottle of Prosecco from Hotel Chocolat. And we got some chocolates as well. And some paint samples and things in there. And then our binder full of all of our warranties and everything. And all of our keys. So, oh my goodness, this is my house. Yeah? Yeah. Oh look, everyone's working. We put all this down to protect the floor. Oh my goodness, look at that. We paid a lot of money for the carpet. Oh gosh. It was a good idea, Dad. Am I carrying this one? Look at you. This is the way we're doing it. We've got Andy handing stuff in. I don't want to show up too much because like I said, you can see where we live. So um, the builders are clearly on site still, but people are handing us their stuff. And then me and mum are delegating it to the rooms. Our little sign. We've put all the protective flooring down. But yeah, this is the progress so far. We're very much running stuff in. All our new appliances. Yeah, our chandeliers over there, obviously covered at the moment because we need to do all the sorting that that's my desk yeah i think it should say on the front yeah limon yeah limon <laughs> limon Bleach. right uh, we've unloaded all of the van to. we've unloaded all of it yeah, yeah. washing machines there to go in yeah, I mean, get this next day, me and mum, we'll crack on, Yeah, so you both gonna go back and get the stuff? Yeah. You've got all your bedroom furniture. Don't forget my desk chair. That's yeah. tucked. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you, my, oh, my list's not on the side. Let me just double check my hinge list. list. And we have put up the sofa. I'm not gonna show too much, because obviously I wanna do a proper house tour and everything will be done properly. But we have a sofa and we have the TV. And we have a plant. We have another lamp. It's starting to feel a bit like a living room. And then right now my task is I'm putting my desk up. So we're gonna do this. Okay, so. Oh, can I have a Phillips screwdriver as well, please? Yeah. Thank you. I want you to do this desk. Well, table. So much plastic that I feel like everything comes in plastic. <laughs> this table is called Limon. 
lemon. This should be like the simplest table to put up. Yeah, I might need my desk for tomorrow. Yeah, you don't have to rush. It's just because this is dead easy. Yeah, mine's, well, mine's not that hard. Um, oh, they just feel better. I need a Phillips. To wrap the gun. Right, I'm not even reading what to do. Probably a good idea to slightly read it. Oh. <laughs> is it a new desk? It's, it is new, yeah. I'm, Ikea instructions are just very interesting. Oh, okay. One is put all the nails in, two is screw the thingy majobby on, and three is put the leg thing on. Sounds about that, right? Are you doing a tutorial? <laughs> I am not the ones to be making a tutorial about this sort of bloody construction. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, okay, I think I get it. I think I get it, you know. Okay, hang on. I'm conscious you can't see what I'm doing, hang on. Okay, so this goes like this. There can't be a job to screw them in though. So it's got to be like that. And then apparently these just screw out. Oh yeah, okay, that I get it. I get it. I'll just be here all day screwing screws. That one's going to be quite good to get in there with everything. Oh cool, thank you. But it's not that big. I'm not going to bore you guys with this because it is very boring. Literally, I've got to do like five. Yeah, I obviously check, need each one. Check your fits and I'll go change it. Okay, doesn't. okay. Oh, goodness gracious me, it is 4.47. I am so sorry I haven't been checking in so much, but clearly, as you can imagine, I have been absolutely inundated. So this is the current situation. We're trying to plumb in the washing machine. Andy just got stuck behind it. That's so funny, you should come around the corner with Andy like that. I know, that's why I wish I got my camera. Um, we've just picked up our dining table delivery from the neighbours, the one that in my last vlog I told you was meant to come. They've, they've only flipping only delivered the legs and the chairs and not the actual glass top. I, am, I, I reckon, no I genuinely reckon they have delayed that glass top for Monday and not everything else. Oh, anyway, we've got our new kettle set up which is a glass one. As you can see, we are loving the glass and chrome in this house. We've got Google here. Oh, sorry. We've got all of the glasses away and the tea and coffee. And oh, we've got our food out, all of our stuff here. We need to still do the broadband and stuff. Mum's put all the plates away. Our fridge has got our champagne and alcohol and milk. Um, and then this is... Obviously, this has just been chucked in, so it needs to be completely organized. Uh, and like I said, we're plumbing in the washing machine, and then we need to put up our bed frame because obviously we need somewhere to sleep tonight, so we're putting the bed up in our room. Let me show you what's going on upstairs because everything has been coming in and going upstairs, and I've not touched unpacking upstairs. So this is... Oh, this is all of my drawers for my dressing table, which need to just go back in. This is my filming room, which clearly, as you can see, is just full of stuff. I really don't know where, if I'm going to put the dressing table in there, or if I'm going to have it here or there. So I need to make that decision. And then we've got Andy's office, which is looking a real state, but he'll be so glad with all that room. Yeah, it's just clothes and everything. Milo is behind that picture. <laughs> Milo's actually the picture of him is set up already in the window. I think I might put Milo either on that wall or this wall. I'm not too sure, I could even put him there. Then this is our spare bedroom, which obviously is full of all of the Ikea wardrobes that need to go up. And this is the bed, but obviously we can't put the bed up until we've put the wardrobes up because you need the flat, the flatness, the flatness, wow, the flat floor to do that. Literally not even touch the bathroom. Um, just put the scales in here and someone's used the loo and not taken the clean, fresh sticker off. Wait, they've taken it off, they didn't pull it off, I meant. Have you seen this cupboard? Yeah. Loads of space, isn't it? Yeah. Gonna have tons of room in there. And then this is our bedroom that is just stacked, which actually, Mum, maybe we should make some space because they're going to need to put up the bed, aren't they? Make some space in here. That is everything so far. It has been a little mission. Full on today. Just a little mission. This is my new bedroom! Woohoo! 
right? So it's much later. Mum and Dad are about to leave and we're just uh, trying to compress all of the... This is really satisfying. This is, I wonder if this is just like crushing grapes, you know what <laughs> Yeah. Oh. <laughs> ASMR. Dad's on the phone as well, so it's quite funny because we're annoying him. Oh, Irish dancing! Woo! Rolls Royce, <laughs> give it to me and Gary. We spend ages sitting there popping the bubbles. <laughs> okay, done it. Oh, we've just had this conversation. Yeah. You could have left that box open and chucked everything in the box. Yeah, but we're flat packing. Well, I've got plenty of inliners, it's fine. Right, I'll put it in the back then. Well, it's quite a successful day, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. very successful. Yeah. So, oh, he's already gone. I was going to say plan of action for tomorrow, but plan of action is for tomorrow. Light fittings, wardrobe, spare bed. And that's pretty much it. I haven't showed you much of the living room because it's hard because I don't want to show you the rooms because I will be doing a full house tour and probably like, like videos individually. It. Yeah, and videos individually of what is going on. But obviously I wanted to show you snippets today. You've clearly seen the empty house tour. If you haven't, I'll put an eye in the screen here and I'll also leave the link down below so you can check it out if you haven't seen that already. So see the house at the barrel roll where there is nothing in it. It has been a crazy day. Today is February 19th, Friday, Friday, February 19th. And it is currently 6.20. And everyone oh, is, is about to leave. We're about to have our first night in our house. Our house. So, mum and dad have left. Andy's dad has left. Um, we had our friends who actually live like right down the road, like Andy's best friends and our friends. They come to say hello and wish us a housewarming. From outside. From outside. But now, it's just gone quiet and it's just us and it's absolutely incredible that this is our house like we own this place and it's just kind of hard to get your head around like i keep saying it's like an airbnb you've like rented it the champagne's been cooling for a while so we're going to open this got the tattinger we got the brute reserve i wanted to buy dom perion but then i was like get oh we've got a mortgage now yeah. <laughs> dom perion was 110 pounds in tesco <laughs> And I'm a peasant. <laughs> We're a peasant, as you can see. <clears throat> would you like to do the honours? Oh, I would like you to, I'll unwrap it, you do the pop in. Oh my god, <laughs> this is the start of many pop, popping corks. Really right. I already opened your mouth. <laughs> Don't break any of my cabinets. Three, two, one! Completion day, moving day, has happened. Chin chin. Woohoo! Magic. Ta -da! Come here. <laughs> Yay! Cheers! Cheers. So I've had a shower now and I am, um, you know, like I literally was in the shower and because it's obviously like our rainfall shower as well, I just felt like and I had to put my products on the side. I just literally felt like I was staying in a hotel and I think it's going to feel like this for quite a while. Andy's now in the shower and I've just sort of come down to clear the countertops because um, we've got to put our appliances out like our toaster and our kettle and things. I can't put out any of my new stuff yet because I got a film a hole, so that's actually in the front room, so I've got to sort that out. We've just ordered a Chinese takeaway from our local takeaway that our friends recommended, but it's coming in like an hour and a half, so it'll be here in about an hour at this point. Um, 
as you can hear, like there's this space is huge. We are both so just used to like Andy's two bedroom flat in my room and like even my house, like my parents' house is a big house. But because it's a Victorian terrace, if you're not from England, by the way, a Victorian terrace is gonna sound so strange because in America and obviously Australia and things, I know you guys have a lot more room and those are my top grossing countries. So if you're from America or Australia, hello, thank you for watching, it's absolutely incredible. But a Victorian terrace is obviously a terrace house is where the houses are obviously all connected wall by wall. This is a fully detached house. Um, on its own freehold land and my parents are freehold as well but it's sort of a long thin piece of land so we've got that's why we've got such a long garden but it's very thin and then the, the house is two levels and then we have a cellar so it's actually square footage a really big space but because of the way it's laid out you kind of feel just narrowed in which is kind of one of the things I think when we were looking for houses, I was like, with all due respect, obviously, it's everybody's different preference, but it's not something I wanted. I would rather have a sort of shallower, wider space, um, but I never wanted a bungalow because that's just not what we wanted. We did want an upstairs and downstairs, but that's why this house just ticks so many boxes. And I think it also ticked the boxes because there's the hallway, again, if you've seen in my empty house tour, the hallway upstairs is like sort of a really open hallway rather than just like a landing if you know what i mean so we opted for the bigger house because it just ticked so many boxes and i can't, i can't even tell you guys like like i said that because everything is so sparkly and fresh and new it just doesn't feel real like i've got all like a lot of friends i don't we only know our friends that live in this area that have moved into a new build house um and we've seen their house and i absolutely love their house it's so beautiful it's just strange because i feel like when people move into the house because most people obviously will buy second-hand houses they're not even second by second-hand I mean like someone's lived there before or multiple people lived there before and I can totally see the appeal because you get to transform a space and it's absolutely incredible but it just feels surreal coming in knowing that everything is brand new like it's all brand new for us oh, insane this is proof that hard work and determination pays off because it's one of those things when people say, you know, I appreciate everybody's post, but when people go like, oh, you're so lucky, like, you're so lucky with this, like, yes, I'm lucky, but I made that luck. I didn't win the lottery, you know, you, you, I don't know. Fate is definitely a part of it, but do you know what I'm trying to say? Anyway, yes, I'm going to do a little bit of sorting out and then uh, we've got our Chinese coming and my battery's flashing at me, so I'm going to charge my battery right now. It has been an incredible, insane, emotional, unreal day. And I can't believe you guys have joined me. I'm so excited to keep this footage forever and ever. Thank you so much for joining this journey. It's surreal. And it's found a word that found a place that I could keep. We got takeaway. You got nowhere to hold them. Nowhere to fold them. Oh, that's the thing in my country. This is just. Rubbish. Yes. Why are you looking through it like that? Uh, I'm not feeling an onion tonight. No, put it in mine then. Put it in mine. Okay. Yeah, why are you looking through it like Pure onions. You got some. Oh, I feel like I need spring rolls. Spring rolls. I just met the delivery driver. He was lovely. He was called Kelvin. And he's just moved here from Hong Kong and he lives in Crimp's Causeway with his wife. And he was lovely. Oh my goodness, gracious me, for a very, very naughty dinner. But I love it. Mmm. Just wanna look into your eyes